Today, we're going to mount my first orchid using a large Phalaenopsis orchid and mounting it on a piece of wood that I found in the forest. And we're going to use a different technique using super glue instead of the regular monofilament. I began by sterilizing all of my tools with isopropyl alcohol or flame. The wood that was salvaged from the forest, I sterilized in an oven at 300 degrees for three hours. I then brushed the loose chips and debris from the wood. At my work table, I soaked new sphagnum moss in a bowl of warm water. In another bowl of fresh water at body temperature, I gently rinsed the substrate from my orchid roots, being careful not to damage any living tissue. You can save the substrate for future reuse as long as you sterilize it in either an oven, as with the wood, or a bath of hydrogen peroxide and water. I trimmed the dead or sick roots, leaves, and stems from the plant, again being careful not to damage any living tissue. You can identify living tissue by its firmness to the touch and its green color. Before mounting, I assessed how I want the plant to be positioned on the wood, considering that the Phalaenopsis orchid naturally grows down, hanging from trees with roots clinging to the bark. Be sure to hold the plant by the sturdy trunk rather than the leaves or roots. Putting the plant aside, I used super glue or crazy glue to shore up any loose pieces of wood. I prepped any place I intended to glue with a spray of water and isopropyl alcohol to both cleanse the area and better prep the surface for the glue. Starting with small clumps of sphagnum moss, I put dollops of glue on the wood and carefully pressed the moss in place to form the bed of the orchid. Be careful not to get the glue on your hands as it will bond very quickly. Taking the plant, I positioned it carefully where I want it to be mounted, aligning the roots to spread over the wood, and began adding generous dollops of glue to the plant where it will touch the wood. I focused first on the sturdiest roots and stem at the top of the plant, pressing them into the wood to create the first and most weight-bearing bond with the mount. I then continued to add bits of glue to the other parts of the plant I could easily press close to the wood without damaging the orchid. The more points of secure contact, the better. But I did find you don't need much glue to make a very secure hold. I then grabbed my sphagnum moss and began gluing larger chunks around all the root structures while trying to maintain a fairly natural look that blends with the flow of the wood and the plant. Super glue or crazy glue is naturally inert and will not damage or burn your plant. Eventually your plant will grow its roots into the wood, holding itself there without the glue's help. This being my first mount, we'll see if I used enough moss to keep the plant healthy. I may need to add more later if I find my orchid gets too dehydrated. I used some compressed air to brush away loose moss and then thoroughly soaked the mount and moss with a spray bottle of water. The wood was soft enough that I could easily hand screw two small eye hooks into the back to use as mounts with picture wire strung between. So here we have the final product. It's a nice hanging orchid. I'm gonna see it around. I used two hook eye hooks with a little bit of picture wire in between to be able to hang it from on a hook on the wall. The 
some roots here. I hope we'll be able to train to wrap around the back. And in the front, you can see how it's mounted at the top. some roots that will train down and into the wood. 